Hi friends, welcome to my channel. I'm Juan the Yarn Addict and today I present to you the Majestic Ridges Scarf. So this here is the Majestic Ridges Scarf. Let me give you a closer view of the scarf. There it is. This here is a six row repeat that I repeated seven times for a total of 42 rows. The yarn I chose was Line Brand Scarfy in the Colorway Eggplant Taupe. Here is a closer view of the yarn. This eggplant color here is my favorite color. That is why I chose this yarn. So feel free to use whatever yarn you'd like. You don't have to use a bulky five like I did. Use a DK weight or a worsted weight or even a super bulky. It's completely up to you. This six row repeat does work regardless of the weight of yarn. I do suggest that you follow the recommended hook size for the yarn of your choice as a starting point. If you want more drape, hook up. If you want less drape, hook down. So that is pretty much all there is to it. Let me just give you another close up bird's eye view. And as you can see, those ridges are very pronounced. Super, super nice. And this is the back, which also has ridges, but not so pronounced. Very, very nice. So this is super easy to work up. It's very fast. There's a lot of autopilot happening. So Let's go ahead and jump into this tutorial. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and maybe leave a comment or two. I would definitely appreciate the support. So without further ado, let's jump right into that tutorial. Okay, so to get started, what we need to do is create a slip knot on our hook. However you do, this is absolutely fine. This is how I do it. From here, what we want to do is chain four. One, two, three, and four. From here, what we want to do is take the tip of our crochet hook and go into our first chain, draw up a loop, and slip to close. We're going to gently tug on our working yarn and pinch our tail against the chain. And as you can see, there is a circle that has formed. We're going to work our stitches out of that circle. So from here, we're going to chain two. And the chain two does not count as a stitch. It just elevates us to the first row. And so from here, what we want to do is insert four double crochets, chain two, four double crochets. Yarn over, go in, draw up a loop, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two. And we're going to do that three more times. So from here, we have four double crochets. We're now going to chain two. And we're going to go back into our circle here with four double crochets. One, two, three, and four. So for our first row, we have four double crochets, chain two, four double crochets. From here, we are going to chain two, which will never count as a stitch for this entire project chain two and turn our work. For row two, we are going to do a series of double crochet two together. So for our very first stitch here, we're going to insert three double crochets. One, two, and three. In the next two stitches, we will crochet double crochet two together. So we're going to yarn over, go into the stitch, draw up a loop, yarn over, go through two. We're going to come next door here, yarn over, go into that next stitch, draw up a loop, yarn over, go through two, and you should have three loops remaining on your hook. From here, you're going to yarn over and go through all three loops, chain one, and move on to the next stitch. So from here, we're at the apex. The top part of this chain space is called the apex. And we're going to insert a double crochet two together in the next two stitches here. So we're going to go into this last stitch and then we're going to go into the apex. So we're going to yarn over, go into the last stitch, draw up a loop, yarn over, go through two. And then from here, we're going to go into our chain space, our apex. We're going to yarn over, go in, draw up a loop, yarn over and go through two. And once again, you should have three loops on your hook. From here, you're going to yarn over and go through all three loops, just like that. From here, you're going to chain two. And we're going to repeat this 
on the other side. So half of our double crochet two together will be from inside of this apex going into the first stitch of the side. So we're going to yarn over and go into our apex, draw up a loop, yarn over and go through two. We're going to come right next door here and do the same thing. Yarn over, go in, draw up a loop, yarn over and go through two. You should have three loops remaining on your hook. From here, you're going to yarn over and go through all three, chain one, and move on to the next two stitches. We're going to repeat that. Double crochet two together. You should have three loops on your hook. Yarn over and go through all three, chain one, and you should have one stitch remaining of the side there. In that last stitch, you're going to insert three double crochets. One, two, and three. And so that's what it looks like here after two rows. From here, what we want to do is chain two and turn our work. For this next row, we are going to do a series of double crochets. So in the very first stitch, we're going to insert three double crochets, and that will be the constant. The very first and very last stitch of every row will receive three stitches. So in this case, it is three double crochets. From here, the next two stitches will also receive double crochets. Next door here, we have a chain space. That chain space will also receive a double crochet. So for this row, every stitch, every chain space will receive a double crochet. With this double crochet two together, that counts as one stitch. So only one double crochet will go into the top there, right here. Next door is a chain space that receives a double crochet as well. This double crochet two together will only receive one double crochet because it's together. Now we have arrived at the apex. So in the apex, we will go ahead and do one double, chain two, and one double, just like that, okay? Now, if we look at this side, this is a double crochet two together, but because it was on the flip side there, it ended with that chain uh, stitch right there. So because of that, we have to consider that as a stitch. So on this side, we need to put a second double crochet because every stitch and every chain gets a double crochet, okay? So from there, we're going to go ahead and do one on top of the double crochet two together. We're going to insert a double in the chain, in that chain space. Next door here, we have a double crochet two together that will receive one double. And in the next two stitches, we will do one double crochet. Just like that. Now in this last stitch, we will insert three double crochets. One, two, and three. And so this is what it looks like after three rows. Very, very nice. And it's very flat which is kind of unusual as we build out our project so early on. Usually there's twists and turns and things, but this is nice. So from here, we're going to go ahead and chain two and turn our work. So for row number four, we're gonna do a series of front post double crochets. So in the very first stitch, as always, three double crochets. That's one, that's two, and that's three. So from here, we're gonna go into the second stitch right in between my thumbs. We're gonna go 
down and around. Well, first we're gonna yarn over, come down and around the stitch, drop a loop, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two. That is a front post double crochet. And we're gonna continue doing that to every stitch of the side here. Yarn over, come down and around, go through two, go through two, just like that. So continue doing that, and now we'll meet you at the apex in just a moment. Okay, so here I am at the apex, and what we want to do here is one double, chain two, and one double. Just like that. Let me back up just a little bit. From here, we're going to continue inserting front post double crochets along the side until we get to the last stitch. Let's go ahead and do that. Just like that. So continue doing this, and I shall see you in just a moment at the very last stitch of row number four. Okay, so I'm at the last stitch, and for this last stitch, we need to insert three double crochets. So let's go ahead and do that. One, two, and three. And so this is what it looks like after four rows. This is the back side. I'll flip this over and show you the front side. Very, very nice. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on to row number five. Row number five is the front post double crochet V stitch. So let's go ahead and chain two and turn our work. Again, the chain twos do not count as a stitch. It just elevates us to the row. And for this very first stitch, we're going to go ahead and insert three double crochets. One, two, and three. So from here, we're going to skip the next stitch and go into the third stitch with a front post double crochet V stitch. So to do this, what we need to do is yarn over, come down and around, drop a loop, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two. So that is your traditional front post double crochet. So from here, we're going to chain one and then yarn over and come back around that same exact post a second time and do another front post double crochet. So you're just creating a V stitch, but both of your stitches are front post double crochets. So from here, we're going to skip the next two stitches and go into the third stitch here with a front post double crochet V stitch. So you're gonna do your front post double crochet, chain one, and then do another front post double crochet right where you just came out of. Just like that. Let's do that again. Yarn over. Let's skip the next two. Go into the third. Around the post of the third stitch there. Do our front post double. Chain one. Yarn over and come back down and around and do that again. Front post double crochet around that same post. Okay. So from here we're going to skip the next two. Go into the third one there front post double crochet, chain one, front post double crochet around that same post. And you should have one stitch remaining right here. So from here, we're gonna go into our apex here with one double, chain two, one double. Chain two and one double. Now, just a good uh, note to remember, whatever happens on one side has to happen on the other side, okay? So before we came into the apex, we skipped over that last stitch, which means we need to skip over the first stitch and go to the second one to do our front post double crochet V stitch. So let's yarn over, come down and around that second post there, do our front post double, chain one, front post double, just like that. 
From here, we're gonna skip the next two stitches, go into the third one and repeat our front post double crochet V stitch. Just like that. Just continue doing that until we get to the end of the row. I'm gonna keep us here since I'm almost there. Skip the next two, go into the third one, front post double crochet V stitch, and so we have one stitch remaining. We're going to go into that stitch with three double crochets. And so this is what it looks like after five rows. To move on from here, what we need to do is chain two and turn our work. So row six is going to be the granny row. So it's gonna be a series of granny stitches. So to get started, what we need to do is insert three doubles in the very first stitch. One, two, and three. From here, we're gonna insert one double crochet in the next two stitches there. One, and two, just like that. From here, we're gonna go into the V stitches with the granny stitch, which is three double crochets. So we're gonna go right into that chain space there and do three double crochets. Now this row tends to move very quickly because you're not working into any stitches outside of the ends here. You're going right into the chain spaces with three double crochets. Two and three. So that's what it looks like. I've done two examples for you, okay? So continue on with that. When you get to the apex, which is up here, it's gonna be one double crochet, chain two, one double crochet. So continue doing the granny stitch until you get to the apex and I will meet you right there in just a moment. Okay, so I'm at the apex. I've inserted the granny stitch in all of the V stitches here. This is what it looks like. It's very, very nice. So from here, we're gonna go into the apex with a double, chain two, and one double crochet. Just like that. From here, we're gonna jump right into our V stitches and continue on with the granny stitch. So from here, we're gonna jump right into that V stitch with three double crochets. One, two, and three. Just like that, okay? So continue doing that and I'll meet you at the end of the row right here in just a moment. Okay, so I'm at the end of the row here. I've inserted the granny stitch in all of the V stitches, and all I have left are these three double crochets from the previous row. So what we're gonna do is the same exact thing we did on the other side, because remember, what we do on one side has to happen on the other. So we need to insert one double crochet in the third from the last and the second from the last stitch. So if you look, there's that cluster of three doubles. The first two will receive one double crochet a piece. Just like that. And then in the last stitch, we're gonna go ahead and insert three double crochets. One, two, and three, just like that. I love how nice and straight this edge is. It's very, very nice. Okay, so let me just back the camera up a little bit. Perfect, okay. So this is the six row sequence here. So just to recap, for row one, we have double crochet. Row number two, we have double crochet two together. Row number three, we have double crochet. Row number four, front post double crochet. Row number five, front post double crochet V stitch. And then for row number six, we have the granny stitch. Okay, so 
I'm gonna do one complete reset with you guys, and then I will leave you at that to continue on with the project to create the scarf size of your choice, okay? So from here, we're gonna jump back to uh, row number one of our six row sequence here, and row number one, as I just mentioned, is double crochet. So from here, what we need to do is chain two and turn our work. And in the very first stitch, we need to insert three double crochet. One, two, and three, just like that. From here, we are to insert one double crochet into every stitch of the row. In the apex, it's one double crochet, chain two, one double crochet. And we are to insert one double crochet all the way down the other side until we get to the last stitch, which will be three double crochet. So from here, let's go ahead and begin inserting one double into every stitch of the side. Just like that, okay? So continue doing this, and for good measure, I will meet you at the apex in just a moment. Okay, I'm at the apex. Every stitch has an upstairs neighbor. And in the apex, as I mentioned, it gets one double, chain two, and one double. From here, we're gonna continue doing one double in every stitch all the way down until we get to the last stitch. So continue doing that, and I will meet you at the last stitch in just a moment. Okay, so I'm at the end of the row. I've inserted one double crochet in every stitch. Every stitch has an upstairs neighbor. In the last stitch here, we're gonna insert three double crochets. One, two, and three, just like that. Perfect. So from here, we're gonna chain two and turn our work and we're gonna move on to row number two of our six row sequence here. Row number two is double crochet two together, but first, our very first stitch needs three doubles. So let's go ahead and do that. One, two, and three, just like that. So we're gonna insert double crochet two together all the way up the side until we get to the apex. So just for good measure, I will do the first one with you and then we will continue on from there. So yarn over, go in the first stitch, drop a loop, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go into the next stitch, drop a loop, yarn over, go through two. You should have three loops on the hook. From here, you're going to yarn over and go through all three, chain one, and go on to the next stitch. And just repeat the sequence here. There will be a cadence to this. Once you get used to how this goes. It will flow. Yarn over, go in, drop a loop. Yarn over, go through two. Yarn over, go in the next one, drop a loop. Yarn over, go through two. So it just becomes very uh, repetitive. So continue doing that, and I will see you once we get to the apex here in just a moment. Okay, so I'm nearing the end of the first side here. I have two stitches remaining, and we are going to work that double crochet two together in the last two stitches of the side, just like this. Chain one, and then in this apex here, we are going to insert one double, chain two, one double. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so I just want to show you something. I'm going to make a bunny ear here. Okay, so if we look down here to our very first section where we did double crochet two together, I'm going to point it out in just a second. So right here is the row where we did double crochet two together. If you notice, we did half of that stitch in the apex and half in the row. Again, it goes to say whatever happens on one side has to happen on the other. So if you notice up here, 
that was not the case. We actually had enough stitches to do our double crochet two together from beginning to the apex. So what's going to happen is that will repeat. So for this repeat, the stitches landed exactly in place. So when that happens, you're gonna do one double, chain two, and one double. In the next repeat after this one, it's going to be like the first one here, where you're going to have to do half of it in the apex and half of it out of the apex, okay? So you have two examples here, which is one of the reasons why I felt the need to repeat this with you guys a second time. So from here, we're gonna continue on doing our double crochet two together, just like we did for this first half here. Okay, so whatever happens on this side has to happen on this side. So we're gonna go right into the first stitch of the side because we ended with the last stitch. So yarn over, we're gonna go into that first stitch and just continue doing our double crochet two together for this side. And don't forget, you have to chain one before you move on, just like that. Okay, so continue doing that all the way down the side, and I will meet you at the very last stitch right here in just a moment. Okay, so I am at the end of the row here. I have one stitch left, and in that last stitch, we're gonna go ahead and do three double crochets. One, two, and three, just like that. As you can see, our oblong triangle is growing. It's very nice. And the one thing that you will notice is that our length will be three times the length of our width. So if you got a piece of yarn and you measured from the tip to our chain and laid it out long ways, you'll be able to fit that piece of yarn three times. Okay? So just a little fun fact there. From here, we are going to go ahead and chain two and turn our work. So this is row three of our six row repeat. And as always, that very first stitch receives three double crochets. One, two, and three. And as was the case before, we're gonna insert one double crochet in every stitch and in every chain space. And here you can see them a little better, the chain spaces. So the next two stitches receive an upstairs neighbor. One and two. Next door we have a chain space. So one double in that chain space. Next door from the chain space we have a double crochet two together. So it looks like two stitches, but there's only one head to that stitch. This is called the head, this whole area right here. One head, one stitch, even if it has two legs, okay? So next door, it's just one stitch because it was a chain. And then next door, one head, one stitch. That's a great way to remember that, okay? So just because it has two legs does not mean we put two stitches. So you're gonna continue doing this all the way down the side. One stitch uh, for the chain space, one stitch for the stitch. All the way down until we get to the apex, okay? So continue doing this, and I will see you at the apex in just a moment. Okay, so I am at the apex here. I've inserted an upstairs neighbor to that very last stitch, as you can see. And from here, we need to go into that apex with one double, chain two, and one double, just like that. Again, whatever happens on this side has to happen on this side. So that last stitch received an upstairs neighbor, so the very first one will receive one as well. From here, we have a chain. So we're gonna insert a double crochet right into that chain space there. Next door, we have a double crochet two together. One head means one stitch, just like that. 
And then we're gonna continue doing this all the way down the side until we get to our last stitch, okay? So continue inserting one double crochet in every head of the stitch and every chain space all the way down. And I will meet you at the end of the row in just a moment. Okay, so I'm at the end of the row. I have one stitch remaining and that one stitch will receive three double crochets. One, two, and three, just like that. So this is what we are looking like so far. Very, very nice. Look at that. Super, super nice. I love how this is laying out. Super nice. Okay, so from here, we're gonna move on to row number four for the second time. So row number four is the front post double crochet. So let's go ahead and chain two and turn our work. As always, that very first stitch receives three double crochets. One, two, and three. Now the second stitch all the way down until we get to the apex, we'll receive one front post double crochet. Just like this. It's safe to assume by now, you know what a front post double crochet is. So just for good measure, it's going to be a yarn over, down and around, drop a loop, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two, okay? So just continue doing this all the way down the side until we get to the apex here. So I'll meet you there in just a moment, okay? Okay, so I'm at the chain space here, the apex. And in the apex, it's going to be one double, chain two, one double. Chain two and one double. Okay, so from here, we're gonna repeat what we just did on this side here. Every stitch all the way down, we'll receive a front post double crochet until we get to the last stitch, okay? So continue doing front post double crochets in every stitch of the side until we get to the last stitch of the row. Just like this, okay? Continue with this and I shall see you at the end of the row in just a moment. Okay, I'm approaching the end of the row here. I have one stitch left and in that last stitch, we're gonna go ahead and insert three double crochets. One, two, and three, just like that. So this is the back, very, very nice. Yep, very nice, and this is the front. Let me make a bunny ear here so we don't lose our stitch. Yes, this is very, very nice. I love the ridges, I love the V-stitch. There's a lot to look at, this is very nice. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on to row number five of our six row repeat. So I'm gonna put the yarn back on the hook and from here we're going to chain two and turn our work back to the front side here. So for row number five, it's, this is gonna be a front post double crochet V stitch as I mentioned down here. So it's the V stitch, but both of the stitches are front post double crochets. Okay, so in the very first stitch here, we're gonna insert three double crochets. One, two, and three. From here, we're going to skip the next stitch, go into that third stitch right here with a front post double crochet. We're gonna chain one and then go back into that post and do another front post double. From here, we're gonna skip the next two, go into the third one and repeat that. Front post double, chain one, front post double, going around that same post, just like that. It's very simple. Skip the next two, go into the third one, front post double crochet, chain one, 
front post double around that same post. And this is what it should look like. Okay, so continue doing this, skipping every two, go into the third one with a front post double crochet V-stitch until we get to the apex here. Just for good measure, I'm going to do the next one silently. And it should look like that. Okay, so continue doing that until we get to the apex, and I'll meet you there in just a moment. Okay, so here I am approaching the apex. I stopped just beforehand just to show you what this is going to look like. Okay, very, very nice. Okay, so we're gonna skip the next two stitches and I have the very last stitch there that I'm going to work this uh, front post double crochet V stitch. So front post, double crochet, chain one, front post, double crochet just like that. So, as you notice down here, I'm going to bring this up and show you the last repeat, that first repeat there, we ended just before the apex. So when that happens, you're going to insert one double, chain two, one double in the apex. If you land on the last stitch, just like this, you're going to hop over the apex. You're not going to add a stitch. So from here, you're going to just chain two and go right to the very first stitch on the other side. And you're going to do a front post double crochet, chain one, front post double crochet in that very first stitch on the other side of the apex. And as you can see, that's what it should look like. Okay, so again, when you land on the very last stitch of the side when you're doing this row here for row five, if you land on the last one, you're not going to go into the apex. You're going to hop over it and you're going to go to the very first stitch and do a front post double crochet V stitch. Okay, so from here. We're going to skip the next two stitches and go into the third one and do a front post double crochet V stitch, as was the case on this other side here. Skip two, go into the third one, and repeat. Okay, so continue doing this all the way down the side until we get to the last stitch. I'll meet you right there in just a moment. Okay, so I'm approaching the end of the row here and this is what we're looking like. Very, very nice. And so in the last stitch, we're gonna go ahead and insert three double crochets. One, two, and three, just like that making a bunny ear here so we can look at our work. Very, very nice. Okay. I'm gonna bring this up close and show you the texture of the rose. I love how this is looking. Nice work. Okay. So from here, we're gonna go to row number six for the second time. We're going to chain two and turn our work. From here, as always, that very first stitch will receive three double crochets. One, two, and three. From here, the next two stitches will receive one double crochet a piece, just like that. Once you have that completed, we're going to work out of the V stitches. So we're going to insert three double crochets in all of the V stitches along the side here. As I mentioned before, this row will tend to go very quickly because you're not working into any stitches outside of the ends. So all through the work there, 
you're just going into the v-stitch and as your project grows this row will be very very nice to work just like this okay so continue doing this until you get to the apex i will meet you there in just a moment okay so here i am at the apex in the apex we're going to go one double chain two and one double from here we're going to repeat what we just did we're going to go into that very first v-stitch with three double crochets and every v-stitch along the way will receive three double crochets so continue with that and i will meet you towards the end of the row right here in just a moment Okay, so I have arrived at the end of the row. I just have a few more stitches left here. So in the next two stitches of the three here at the end, we're gonna insert one double crochet in each of the next two stitches. So there's one double. Let's go next door here and insert a double there. And then in the last stitch right here, we're gonna insert three double crochets. One. Two and three. Let me make a bunny ear here. And let's just take a quick look at our work. So, what we are now looking at are two full complete uh, six row repeats. So, total 12 rows here. This here is the back side. Let's flip to the front side here. And so the ridges are more pronounced on this side, as you can see. It's very, very nice. Okay, so to make your project larger, you're just going to continue with the six row repeat. Now, the recommended size is 24 inches from chain to apex and six feet going long ways. Okay, so let me bring up my completed project here. And this was done with Scarfy, of course. And so this is where I began. I'm just going to bring you all the way to the end here. Now for the very final row, I just did a row of single crochet just to finish off the project here. It's very, very nice. So that is it, my friends. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please hit the like button, leave a comment or two. I would definitely appreciate the support. And of course, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So that is all for this tutorial. And until the next one, take care. Bye-bye.